What's going on, YouTube? About to make my second video since I've started making videos. <laughs> uh, if you guys haven't seen that first video, go check it out. It's just my engine running on a stand. Um, we had a little distributor set up that my dad's friend made for the LS to where you can fire it on the stand. You don't have to have your ECU plugged in and all that. Um, I'm on my iPhone right now. I just went gung-ho and went and bought the new Hero 7 white, but I'm gonna need a mic and a mic adapter for that thing because I just made a video with that and you can't hear a damn thing I said. But uh, yeah, I've since that last video, I've got my engine in my truck, all mounted up, all the wires ran, everything, well, I think everything plugged in. Um, I was very precise when I took the old engine out, made sure I labeled everything and like the location of everything. And uh, well, some of you, it's probably nothing, you know, where everything goes and like all the plugs and everything, you probably know them by heart, but it's my first LS that I've ever pulled out of anything by myself. So, you know, I did the basic labeling, like what it, I thought it was and the location of it, like right side of block, rear of block, especially for the grounds. Um, I think I've got all the grounds plugged up or plugged up, <laughs> screwed in. Um, there's one on the back of the block. There's one like behind my valley cover on the back of the block. There's one on the front cross member that I didn't even touch. That's, I think it's just like the body module. And then there's one on the driver's side cylinder head, which I don't even know what that is, but it was plugged in. Like it, it just goes to my firewall right here. Like I don't, like I don't even know, but it was on the back of the block when I, took it out so I'd put it back on there. That's obviously not doing anything. But uh, my truck won't start. I can't, like it won't even crank over. I uh, put the key in, turn it into the start position. It powers all my uh, accessories. You can hear the fuel pump come on. You can hear, I mean, you can see the dash come on. My lights power up. But I try to start it and it's just nothing. Like, it doesn't crank, doesn't turn the starter over or anything. Um, I'm sure it's just I need to reflash my ECU because I did unplug it and do the whole pen swap deal for the 4L80. There's a few locations that you have to move. I think it's two up here and then you have to pull two down, out down there on the uh, control plug and wire in another speed sensor because the uh, 80 has two speed sensors and the 60 only has one but uh yeah i'm just looking for a little bit of advice before i get this trans up here be, or the trans mounted up in there i'm still waiting on my converter from circle d it's a 3800 to 4000 stall texas speed suggested that suggested that company so that's what i went through but uh they're making me a custom converter and they said they didn't have any in stock with that high of a stall so it's going to be two weeks Two weeks out, I'll be here on the 6th. Today's the 27th. I ordered it a couple days ago. But uh, I'm waiting on that. But I'd really like to start this thing before I get the trans up there because those grounds are easily accessible back there on the back of the block with the trans out. And uh, I don't really want to mess around with pulling my intake off. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just, you know, if I don't have to do it, I don't want to dig with it. But uh, if there's like a common plug or ground that's missed, some LS expert not being by any means. It's, like I said, my first my first uh, LS experience here. But if there's some expert out there that knows something that's commonly missed and would like to shoot me a little bit of advice or like send me a video even of like uh, I don't a commonly missed thing. I guess um, I would greatly appreciate that. Like I mean, like I said, I've got everything plugged in. I've been under the truck numerous times. There's nothing. I've traced all the wires from the ECU. There's nothing that isn't plugged in. Um, so that just keeps leading me back to the fact that I'm probably gonna have to reflash my ECU, and which isn't a big deal. My dad has HP tuners, but it's just, he 
just about a half hour away getting him out here and actually doing it he's a busy man just like everybody else so somebody could give me a little bit of advice greatly appreciate it if not i'll just have him come out here and reflash it i know you got to do a uh, segment swap so it will actually control the 80 that 80 is out of like a express van i think it was a 3500 express van it's a 04 um but yeah that that's probably what it is but like i said if there's a common common miss anywhere greatly appreciate it i'd like to get this thing fired up and actually hear it in my truck it's a little different when you're in the truck feeling the rumble from the engine than uh just seeing it on an engine stand but uh yeah that's about it for now the next video will probably be when i uh get my converter show you guys that and uh all the instructions i guess uh about that but uh yeah thanks guys any input is greatly appreciated